Hello, I'm Nils. Like many people who visit this channel, I have an interest in delaying and reversing aging with the goal of living an optimal human lifespan. This video is not intended as and should not be taken as medical advice. As Harvard's David Sinclair has said, the first person to live to be 150 or even 200 may have already been born. The choices that we make now including our workouts, diets, and supplements, could end up being factors in whether we live that long. Creatine is, in my opinion, a key anti-aging supplement. According to studies that I've talked about in previous videos, creatine has been shown to improve glucose tolerance, inhibit cognitive decline, and also to extend lifespan in animals by the equivalent of seven years in human terms. As we age, we lose muscle due to sarcopenia, and studies have shown clearly that creatine can help prevent and reverse this. But there's often disagreement about when to take it. Some recent research has shed new light on this question. A recent study included 19 men with a mean age of 23. They were randomly assigned to take five grams of creatine either pre-workout or post-workout, either immediately before or immediately after exercising. They were training an average of five days a week, and the study lasted four weeks. As a side note, this study was done on males. I hope that there will be a similar study soon on women. The men performed a split routine, working their chest, shoulders, and triceps, back and biceps, legs, and core muscles. The study's conclusion was, quote, it is apparent that everyone in the post-supplementation group improved vis-a-vis fat-free mass. However, this was not the case with the pre-supplement group. In plain language, they found that, at least in young athletic males, consuming creatine immediately after a workout is superior to consuming it pre-workout in terms of both body composition and strength. One addendum is that whether you take creatine before or after working out, it can be good to take it with either food or with electrolytes. For those taking it without food, taking it along with an electrolyte supplement greatly increases its effectiveness and absorbability, actually by about 500%. So in my own case, I've switched to taking it right after my workouts along with a scoop of electrolyte powder. One question that comes up is how much creatine is optimal. Some people start with a loading dose of 20 to 30 grams a day for a few weeks, then switch to a lower dose. Some people skip the loading dose. One study found that taking 14 milligrams per pound of body weight or 30 milligrams per kilogram of body weight appears to be a minimum in both men and women to prevent sarcopenia, but that about twice that amount may have additional benefits. This would bring the dose to around five grams a day. I personally like taking five grams in the morning, usually right after working out. I have noticed a difference in both my mental clarity and my post-workout energy level after doing this. The videos on this channel are sponsored by Do Not Age, a good source for anti-aging supplements I was happy to see that they have recently added creatine to their own product line. For a 10% discount on all of their products on their website, use the discount code PATHWAYS. Be sure to type it in all caps. If you do buy Do Not Ages Creatine, the little scoop that comes with it is actually 10 grams. So I just take half a scoop along with an electrolytes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.